Hello everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Operator Terminal Expert Training. I'm your host, Leandro Mad, and in this video what we're going to see is how we can use the color blink function block that we have in the script area on the software. So let's go to the software. So I want to start a new project and the idea is to show you how we can change the color of an object using this block. So what I'm going to do is to create a variable called alarm. It can be whatever you want in your site, but for example, if I have an alarm, I just want the object or something to, to change, okay, the color. So I'm going to have a screen, and in the screen, I'm going to add some objects. So here, I'm going to have an ellipsis. It's going to be a circle. And then I'm going to have a rectangle. Okay, so I'm going to use like this. Whoops. And whoops. Then what I'm going to do is to add this toggle switch so I can simulate that I have an alarm. So current value toggle switch variable alarm two ones. So each of the objects that we have inside the software have different properties. So it's important to identify the, the name of each object. Okay, so for example, it's going to be rectangle one, and this one is going to be ellipse one. So, as we have too many properties of each object, each object, what we have in this particular chain, check uh, in the particular case that we are able to change is the field. So, if we take a look here in the properties and the field along in shape, basic, we have the possibility to change the color. We can manually change the color using this, okay? Or we can use the color set to change the complete set of everything. In my case, I'm going to work on this one and then we can manually change the things, okay? Now, in order to change the color, we can assign a variable here. Oh, sorry. We can assign a variable here instead of something fixed. But I have, I have already explained this part in, in another video. So now what I want to focus is how we can use the blink, uh, the color blink function. So I have already my two options. Now, if we go to a script, I can show you how we change this. So here, what I'm going to do is to use the value change the condition this is an example value change and the value change is going to be the variable for the alarm alarm dot value and then if this one change to one i want to do something otherwise it will do something else for this i need now a comparison variable and the value is one then i will do something so inside the block area we have different blocks in the, the one particular that i want to show in this video is the one for the objects for the screen here color blink and the cancel blink so when we have an alarm, we set this condition to change the field property of an object. And when the alarm is up, we cancel it. So this color blink needs to be linked to an object, screen object. It's going to be linked to a graphic object, rectangle, and then the field property. Going to copy the object, Ctrl C, Ctrl B, paste it over here. Then I will change from yellow to green uh, to red. And I'm going to copy the same thing to play with the ellipses. So ellipses, ellipse one dot fill. So it's going to change between this color and this color. This one is going to be medium speed and the other one high speed. 
and the other thing that I need is to cancel the activation of the blink. So I can copy this object once again and paste it. It's just one way to do it. So if we simulate this, if I simulate, we should be able to see how it changed as soon as the alarm is triggered. the other screen okay, good so now if i trigger this this will change the colors you can see the frequency that we change one is medium the other one is high and then when i turn it off it will go back to their normal state of colors okay which is good so it's important that we define the trigger option to execute the color blink and then the other condition when we want to go back to normal which is this one okay so this is it how we can use the color blink object on the ecosoc product expert how to change the color from one to the other one and then how we can go back to normal using the cancel blink so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one.